Hi everyone, it's Lottie. This is my process of painting an iron photoshop. I'm going to sketch in a basic eye now. This is just so I've got a base to work from. I've sped this up so you guys get an idea of how I draw the eye as well. I'd just ask if you could like and subscribe to my channel as well. You can follow all my tutorials and time lapses of my work. I'm going to sketch in a basic colour now for the skin. I've done this underneath the lines layer as well. I'm adding a little bit of blue in as well. So, not all skin colours are the same colour, everyone has a little bit of different pigment in the face and this just depends on where in the face you are. I'm just adding in all the basic colours that I need for my eye and the eyebrow. You can use any colours that you want and use any skin colour that you want. It all works the same at the end of the day. I'm just quickly adding an eyelash band for where the eyelashes will be. And then it's just about blocking in all the colour and making sure it's a bit cleaner. And I'm just blocking in a few little eyelashes to see how they're going to form across the face. So as you can see I'm just blending it and blending it and I'm working into it, that's all you need to do. Once you've got your base colours down you can start just blending in everything. You can add in shadows and highlights a little bit later on as well with a few tricks. Try and keep in your mind where the lighting's going to be as well because that will help you so much. I'm starting to really focus on this iris and the pupil now. I want it to look a little bit more realistic as well. So just keep blending and don't be afraid to be a little bit free with how you're blending as well. You can always fix any mistakes. I've added in a new soft light layer and I'm adding in shadows. So you can pick a colour between white and black and you can add in shadows and highlights based on that. So the soft light layer is great for that. It's great for just softening some of the edges as well. So if you keep working into it you'll eventually get like a really nice popped out image of your eye. I'm adding in some eyelashes now but I'm being so quick with this. You've got to really swipe your pen across the tablet. The quicker you do it the more fluid they'll look as well. And adding in a bit of shadow near the eyelashes is great, it just makes them look more 3D. If you look at references of eyes that will help you so much, you'll actually see the different pigments in people's faces as well. Eyebrows are quite important as well for setting out the face. I generally try to draw in the hairs how they form on the eyebrows, that gives it a much more realistic look. You can drop your brush size down when you need to as well and start adding in some small details because once you get to this stage you've got like the basic block out that you need so that's great. So again I'm just adding in some shadows now and a few more eyelashes. I'm just trying to make sure the image is blended correctly. I sometimes forget the waterline myself, but I'm drawing that in here. As you can see, it's like a slight pink colour. 
and the eyelashes don't go all the way to the tear duct either so keep that in mind just look at lots of images of eyes and that'll help you out if you're new to it it's mad how adding shadows in can actually just make your image pop as well So I'm trying to add in some details to the iris. I'm trying to make it look realistic. A small brush is great for this as well. But sometimes it's best not to overdo it, so if you just put a little bit in and then have soft shading as well, it looks really good, so that's worth keeping in your mind. I've added a new layer and I've put it to a linear dodge layer now because I really want to pick out these details. I've added it to slight saturation in as well. If you find that your linear dodge layer is too bright, you can always drop the opacity of that. I'm also using a linear dodge layer now to really pick out some of these details. I'm going around all the parts of the eye that I want to pop and that I'll know that the light will be reflecting on. You need to keep in mind that in different situations, if your character's got makeup on or the, the, the skin's wet, it will have a different effect on the shading. This is something that you can practice in your own time though. I've got him with a multiply layer now. I want some really dark shadows in my work, so this really helps, but I might have to drop down the opacity a little bit more. It's great for adding in some more shadows into your work as well, so especially around those eyelashes, because each eyelash will cast a slight shadow depending on the light. The glint's such an important thing on the eye, I'm trying to think about the eyelashes above it and how they'd cast a reflection on the glint. Using image references will help you with this as well. The waterline has a bit of moisture in it as well so it's nice just to accentuate that area a little bit. The lasso tool is great for adding in gradients too. So you can use that and then erase some of it and it'll give you nice sharp details. Sometimes the glints can look a little bit weird but if you rub them out they do work. Your eraser tool is great for chipping away at certain details and working into them even more. A nice thing to do now is start to add like little blemishes in the skin and texture to the skin. This will make it come to life and this will make it look more realistic. You can do this with just a round brush as well. I've not used any brushes in this. The only brushes I've used is the hard round brush and the um, and the air brush. So I'm trying to highlight some of the eyebrows now because some of these hairs have a bit of reflection on them too. It's really nice to add in each individual hair on the eyebrow, I think that makes it look really nice. So once you get into this stage you can really go in and start picking out some details now. This tutorial was sped up, this was around 40 minutes so you guys might take a bit longer or it might you might be quicker but don't worry about time just work into it at your own pace you can use layer of styles as well to change the color of certain aspects on your image so i've used a soft light on this to create this purple look And you can use layers to your advantage, you can just layer them and add in different layer effects and get different results at each time, it's just great. The eyeball was a little bit too grey, so I've added in a bit more white to it, 
but the thing is you don't want the eyeballs to be too white because sometimes it just looks a little bit weird. It all depends on the lighting in your image at the end of the day. So I've done a linear dodge layer now and I'm using a soft airbrush and I'm just highlighting some of the glints. I want a bit of reflection and bloom coming off them. I just think it looks so pretty. You can use this sort of effect on different aspects of the face as well. Sometimes you just have to be a bit careful though because it can look a little bit too much. But it all depends on your style and with my style of work I love bloom and I love bright stuff. So thanks anyway guys, thanks for watching this tutorial, it means a lot to me and I'm, I'm so glad I could be helping you all. So if you could just like and subscribe to my channel you can keep following all my tutorials. So thank you very much everybody.